Um, with machine learning, it really boils down to data, and the computer is going to learn from it. It's going to recognize patterns. And really, the value of machine learning hinges on these two concepts here. Data is freely available. It's widely available. From a storage standpoint, from an access standpoint, it continues to get cheaper with software and hardware advancements. But knowledge is scarce. We don't have easy access to it if we're talking about a predictive model that's trained. If we're talking about humans developing expertise, maybe reviewing accounts, maybe looking at a patient's chart, it's very hard to cultivate that expertise. And that's where kind of the real value of machine learning comes in. I'd like to take a closer look at the types of problems that we're solving. Let's assume I go home. Um, on the way home, I'm stopping at Pick and Save to grab some items for dinner. Been in Wisconsin six years now, so I'm gonna grab some bratwurst, some buns, ketchup and sauerkraut. Um, it looks like I'm headed for a cookout this evening. And I look across the aisle, I see my fellow shoppers grabbing some pasta, some bread, some cheese, pasta sauce. As we progress through that shopping trip, as we pick up more and more items and put them in the cart, we're a little bit more accurate if we're trying to guess what's coming next. In addition to that, if I'm asking a narrow question, if I'm moving from what are they gonna grab to what's the beverage that goes with this meal, I can be a lot more accurate. <laughs>